All right, on today's video, we got a uh, Oldsmobile to regrind a, a roller from a, another manufacturer, and it had some uh, uh, some rust surface pitting or something, and they wanted it touched up. But when I was uh, setting it up, I noticed uh, some lobes felt like they were slightly out of index. So we're gonna to touch a couple of lobes and just see, and, uh, and I'll show you what we're talking about. Hang loose. All right, so we set up on the first lobe and got it swept in. And we're just gonna to touch off on it here in just a minute and confirm that we are centered on the number one intake. There we go. So we need to back it up just a smidgen. So it looks like all of that touched, but it actually didn't. It just blowed uh, blue off of it. But we pretty centered right there. And it's hard to see it in the camera without the blue on it. But the water just, it just pushes the, the blue off. So let me see if I can do it. I'm gonna come down here and just see if I can do it without coolant and see if we can see the issue. 25. Nope, that index is really good on that one. Let's check one more. One seven to four. Yep, so, so that is a perfect example. So it took a lot off of this side and nothing off of this side, but you can see 
how well centered this one was. And so what happens is, and I see this pretty regular, and sometimes, like I had one the other day, it was from a well-known company, and we swept in number one, and it was, it was dead nuts. And every other lobe on the cam was off like a degree. So I don't, the only thing that can happen is on the, on the index plate, we machine these index plates for whatever application and either the hole is wore out in the index plate or the location of the index holes are, are in the wrong place. And we machine these all in the CNC and, and what we do <clears throat> is you know, th this hole is zero, and we always machine the keyway and zero at the same time. So we put the keyway in and then do this pattern in the same setup. That way, you know, it's always referenced from that keyway, and that's how it goes on the machine and locates. So we, you know, those two have to be in line. And, and, you know, is that the end of the world, a, a load being out of place? No, not in most applications it's not, but the, the big deal is, uh, you know, how much is it off? And then, you know, if you're building a, you know, a, a, a race motor, you want the cam timing to be correct. So when you run into lobes that are out of place, or, you know, the lobe separation is not what it's supposed to be or whatever. I mean, that's a problem. So, you know, we try to be accurate when we make a camshaft and the only way that this can be off is the index plates off or they're not using the index plate and they're trying to dial in the degrees in the front head and that's a visual thing. But once you get number one in place, if the index plate is accurate, every lobe will be dead nuts in location. But I, I just wanted to show that because like I say, when we, was, uh, when we was setting this thing up, I was sweeping in a few lobes just checking to make sure they were in place. And I, I seen some that were, that were off and they were two or three. So, you know, just be aware that that kind of stuff can happen. And we always, most of the time, well, not when I do a cam and now I don't build motors with other people's cams, but back when I did, we would degree uh, all four corners of the block to make sure that the cam was, you know, we wouldn't do every lobe. And that was before I had a cam doctor, obviously. Now we can just run all 16 lobes in the cam doctor and know if there's an issue. But sometimes when I'm just doing a regrind, I don't run them in the, I won't run 16 lobes because we have the stuff to put them all where they're supposed to be anyway. So I don't really care if they're off when I'm done, they're not off anymore. So. I thought that would just be a, a, a good highlight, something to, you know, be aware of. And, you know, it can be a problem because some's off more than others. And that's probably, if I was a betting man, half a degree or so. But like I say, I've seen some that's, you know, a whole degree or more. So anyway, so hopefully that helps. Uh, see you on the next one.